on this headquarters ranch here, we've got two main grazing systems and on each of them, we have two wells hooked together. I started out with a single well and that worked good, but if the well ever goes down and you've got all those livestock there, you have a problem and it gives me, again, some peace of mind. It also increases the pressure, gives us a little more uh, quantity of water. So we have two wells hooked together on each of those systems and we've used inch and a half to two inch uh, poly pipe that's buried just under the ground and uh, and we've run miles and miles of that around. A uh, simple above ground line, uh, water line here, uh, distributing water to pasture, kind of the poor boy system here. We're using one inch line, some basic plumbing hardware, and then we've necked this down to uh, attach to garden hose and the garden hose is going to the float valve on the tank. Simple low cost method of getting water out to pasture. We're running the water right off of our regular farm well. It's just a 280 foot well. Um, Nothing fancy about it, not high capacity, it's just a standard well, I think a one and a half horse submersible pump. Uh, we start out with three quarter inch right from the get-go and three quarter inch continues all the way to the end. I like to run my water lines right under the, the fence so that that kind of protects it from the cow stepping on it. When I'm clipping the pastures, they're, they're underneath the wire. All the water lines are just sitting on top of the ground, none of them are buried. and. Uh, I guess the only place I do bury them is maybe if they go across a road just so that the hoses or the water lines don't get beat up. We just, you know, trench them down a couple inches just to protect them from getting ran over. Just got a faucet periodically through the pasture that I can just pull up with a water tank, hook a line up to it, and I'm ready to go. I've never ever blown out one of those lines as long as you get the pressure off on the ends. All I do is in the fall, you know, like this time of the year when everything's ready to freeze, I just shut it off in the utility room and I just walk around and open up all the faucets and let them self-drain. Here's a small stock tank used in a pasture situation and just as a uh, float valve on it. Uh, these things are pretty straightforward. They kind of look like work like the float in your toilet tank. As the water level rises, this float also rises until it actually shuts off the water flow coming in here. As the cattle drink it, the float drops and allows more water in here. So we have a unique system of uh, putting a float valve in a water line here in a tank. Uh, this tank is split by a paddock subdivision fence by a hot wire and right underneath that is the water line and the floats directly attached directly to that. It's free flowing here. It's very difficult for the cattle uh, to monkey with this. This is a payloader tire that we got. Um, we got it free as someone was changing a tire out. Um, what we did is we took a uh, piece of uh, bent night liner. I don't know that you would need that, but that's what we, we had a friend that was building an air pit and we got a, just a scrap of that. We laid it on, we leveled the ground, laid it on that. Uh, and then we put a bag of bentonite clay in the bottom where we ran our uh, hose in. We just hook our float to that. Um, we have a ball valve in there that we hook our float to. Um, the only thing I'd recommend is that this is an 18 inch tall tire, a wide tire. You should look for something 20 inches or taller if you could. Uh, 20, 24 inches would be better. We have used uh, fiberglass tanks. I've used the big round ones, put two or three or four of them in a series. I've had really good luck with the floats, just a, a bob valve with a, with a long rod with a, a large float on and it seems to work really well and uh, that's kind of the system I've went with and it's, it's simple and they work well. Well we're standing in front of a, of a fiberglass, an eight, a 10 foot fiberglass uh, water tank and what we have here is, uh, is a system, we've just developed a spring. We've got underground water that's pretty close to the surface and so, or comes out to the surface and a number of years ago, we came in here with uh, uh, some equipment and found where that uh, seam of water is back into the hill here and uh, dug down in there and put some perforated pipe down that leads out into this large uh, inch and a half plastic line that comes to the tank. And so that water collects in that uh, uh, kind of a, gr a small gravel uh, base and then it's wrapped around that uh, perforated pipe. Water comes out to the surface so we've got it trapped here. There's an overflow in the tank so when the cattle are not here and the tank is full then that water overflows and, and it just runs down the, down the drainage. 